Good morning. So um, we're going to make a portrait inspired by um, Kind Wiley. So um, Kind Wiley is an African-American artist out of New York City. And he makes, um, these are all of his portraits. And he actually made, I wanted to show you Barack Obama's portrait. Um, and I just love how his portraits have the person is very realistic and then he puts them in these really beautiful intricate backgrounds um and he overlaps the background onto the person which i think is just so cool um and he has i mean there's so many beautiful ones that you can search through but i just love all the different backgrounds and how they kind of overlap so um i'm gonna do my portrait of kind wiley you can make your portrait of whoever you want so i'm just gonna look for um I think I can do this one. So you might be able to hear Sesame Street in the back of my <laughs> background of my thing because my daughter's in here. So I'm going to go to that remove background. Oh, oops, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna make this in Google Slides. So let me just go to Google Drive. Slide. <laughs> can you hear this song? Um, okay, so I'm going to just title this Ken Riley Art Lesson. Okay, so I don't need to put his portrait in. Actually, I don't want to put his portrait in yet, but it's a good place to start. So what I want to do is um, I want to pick out a color for the background. So go to background. I kind of like this turquoisey color one and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and look up I think flowers do you like this song Libby Lou <laughs> I'm getting looks from the baby oh I think these are cool so I'll see if these work they might oh oops nope so I just want a flower pattern that has um, lots of color. That one might be cool. So you can do any um, any kind of pattern. Um, Ken Riley uses a lot of nature, and then he'll also use patterns that kind of remind me of like wallpaper. Um, so doing that is totally fine too. Oh, cool! That came out well. And then what I might do. I might try to crop out the the vase. I don't know if that'll look weird. We'll try it. Okay. So now I just want to layer this background with this image. So I'm just going to copy the image and paste it. And then I can put it right next to each other. I might just need to so when you go to save um, an image from slides if you have something hanging off like the edge it it um it doesn't save it so it's okay Okay, so I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to make a bunch of pastes of this. Paste, I don't think that's a word. I'm pretty sure Miss Kalsi just made that one right up. Um, and again, you can do any back type of background that you want. Um, I kind of like the look of the flowers. And to be honest, I when I tried this at first, I was using like a single flower, but it just was taking me so long that for our um, lesson, I decided just to use like a big chunk of flowers, but you're welcome to, to make yours however you would like. Okay. Um, so notice how like this one is behind this one. Remember, we can go to arrange, bring to front. Okay. 
Can can you hear Mr. Noodle? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna really try to fill in my whole background here with this pattern. He has a limited amount of time before Libby gets upset and needs her full attention. <laughs> so I work pretty fast. Okay, so um, this is also why I think it's important that you like, um, a lot of you guys send me your slides, which is fine, like as a slide, but when you save it, um, I think it ends up looking a little bit better because you can you can see it sorry just move. All right. being a little crazy okay so here's my background then I can remove the background for um, Kind Wiley and then when I do this pretty sure it's gonna show me the both people yep but I can crop him out so I'm gonna download this And I'm just going to crop him out. I love this jacket. Tools. Crop. Okay. Save. Okay. So now I can go ahead and drag him onto my picture. And I want him to be pretty big, right? Because he's the center of this. He's important. And then remember how we talked about how he kind of um, like overlaps. Bless you, Olivia. I'm going to just, I don't, you wouldn't want to overlap somewhere important like his face, but you could overlap around like the bottom of his coat. Oops. And then we'll see what happens if I do this one. I kind of like that. And maybe we'll try this one. There we go. So there's my portrait of Kind Wiley. So notice that when I go to save this, I'm going to download it as a JPEG, which is an image. It crops. I don't have the, the flowers that hung off the side. So there's my portrait of Kind Wiley using Google Slides. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'd love to know who you might make a portrait of. You could pick making a portrait of somebody who inspires you. Um, you could make a portrait of a family member if you have a picture, or somebody famous like I did. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I hope you have a great day.